If you look at what happened in 2016, we have seen a shocking rise in uh, the use of fear and hate by political leaders in different parts of the world uh, just in order to win elections to capture power. They've ended up polarizing societies. They've ended up scapegoating uh, minorities, Muslims, refugees, women. Now it's starting to happen in the most powerful countries in the world. We saw this happening through the Brexit process in the UK and then the United States election, of course. And now we are here today in France because of the upcoming elections in France, where again, the rhetoric of uh, attacking foreigners and migrants is very actively being used. This time around, what has happened is that elected leaders, so say for example, if you take Philippines or Turkey, these are legitimately elected leaders. So they've come with popular support and they're using the electoral process to abuse human rights. But the most scary part is that the countries which were traditionally seen as champions of human rights, say France and um, UK and uh, the United States, Western powers, now they are going down this road. And the good news is that people are not accepting this. You know? So even when leaders fail, people are standing up. People are standing up in the US, you saw the women's march, you saw people rushing to the, to the airport when these people are being pushed out. Uh, this is the same thing we saw in Hungary when you know, Orban is pushing refugees out. People stood on the streets to give water and food to the refugees.